Oh, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with a explication request on futures. This is not a big deal on your 65, 66. If you tell me you missed the mark because of futures, I'm going to say I don't believe you. Uh, however, that being said, here's an example of what you might encounter. Uh, futures are actually simpler, simpler than options in this regard. It's a 50-50. I'm either going long the futures or short the futures. And it's a simple thing of, do I think the price is going up or do I think the price is going down? If the price is going up, I go long the futures. If the price is going down, I go short the futures, either as a speculator or a hedger. Those are our two parties here, right? Uh, I think of as a hedge, right? I'm going to do today in the futures market what I'm going to do in the cash market later on, right? So, you know, whatever I'm going to be doing in the spot market, cash market in the future, I'm going to do in the futures market today. And again, I'm hoping that that hedge will pay off in terms of uh, the spot market. Anyways, uh, this is QID 1518135. Uh, if you don't have a Kaplan Q Bank, I highly recommend it. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my new YouTube channel. Uh, but if uh, you don't have a Q Bank from Kaplan, I'd get one. Uh, Guru 10 is the discount code at checkout for that commercial. Uh, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on questions. All right, a manufacturer of soybean oil is concerned the price of soybeans will increase. Now, by the way, I shouldn't have had to tell you that because if I am manufacturing soybean oil, uh, I should say, okay, what am I? what is my risk? The risk is that soybeans go up in price. Now, I think of Kikoman. Kikoman makes soy sauce, right? So the input is soybeans. So that means if I think the price is going to go up in the future, what I do today in the futures market is a hedge, something that will make me a little money to offset whatever happens in the cash market. The best strategy to employ would be going long the futures. As I said, it'd either be long or short. Now, the other version of this would be a soybean uh, farmer, right? I actually am, you know, I am a farmer and I have soybeans in the field and I'm afraid there that the price of soybeans would go down by the time I harvest. So I would do in the futures market, something that would profit from that price decline that I think I'm going to experience in the cash market. So again, if I'm a soybean farmer, what am I afraid of? The price of soybeans going down and I would short the futures. So it's a 50-50 on these uh, futures questions where there's only two positions, long and short, price up, long futures, price down, short futures. Pretty straightforward. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Remember, inch by inch, your exams are sent, yard by yard, your exams is hard. And if you have any other further questions, just send them my way. I'm more than happy to explicate them for you.